New developments in this terrifying video, a man thrown out of a fast moving RV into traffic going the opposite way. After it hits the 14 freeway median wall, this happened near Newhall. The man lived to tell his amazing tale of survival from his hospital bed. Eyewitness News reporter Jory Rand joining us now with the story. Jory. Mark, it's incredible. When we saw this video, we just assumed we would be talking about a fatality. A man was walking in his RV. His wife fell asleep at the wheel and slammed into the center divider. And there is that man flipping over the barrier and onto the freeway. And again, he survived. Watch the left side of your screen. That's an RV scraping its way along the center divider on the 14 freeway Monday morning near Newhall. But look again. You may have missed a person skidding along the ground on the other side of the wall. That person was Cordell Patrick. I got thrown out of a vehicle, an RV going 60 miles an hour. You heard him right, and somehow he survived. It's really amazing. I just got broken bones, man. A lot of broken bones, but we'll get to that. First, how did this even happen? Well, Cordell and his wife were driving back home to Valencia from a camping trip in Menifee. I had to get up and use the restroom. That's okay. the only reason my seatbelt was unbuckled. I noticed we weren't going straight. We were going sideways toward the median. She had fallen asleep. So as I reached to grab the steering wheel, we had impact and I was thrown out the window. That would be the driver's window bouncing off the center divider and sliding along the HOV lane of the opposite direction. One vehicle had to swerve out of the way to avoid hitting him in the moment from Cordell's perspective. I was going to die. I was going to die. And then I'm a former athlete. Then the former athlete took over. I'm like, I'm not dying like this. If I'm not dead on impact, I got another chance to survive. And that's what we're going to do. And he did, but painfully. We spoke with him from his hospital bed in Valencia. I got road rash on 60% of my body. Broken ankle, broken bones above the ankle, broken bones below my knee, <sighs> broken toes, <sighs> stitches all across. And Cordell believes there is only one reason he made it through alive. I am blessed. It's a God thing, man. It's strictly a God thing. By the grace of God, I'm still here, man. Cordell says he believes an angel interve intervened to save him here. He's going to spend more time in the hospital, but he has big plans. He's starting a podcast he wants everyone to listen to. He's a sports journalist, but the fact that he's able to do so, even though he'll be dealing with some pain for some time to come, is just incredible. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.